All right, welcome to part three of the Levels of Classes series. Uh, for t uh, first class up on the I'll offensive I'll list is going to be right your now. Pyros. Pyros, it's WM1. Like, it's not that hard. It is really not that hard to get top of the leaderboard as Pyro. What kind of... The damage potential is limitless on Pyro. You, you will decimate the entire enemy team if you just learn to air blast. Do you have the Dragon's Fury? I actually do have a Dragon's Fury, yes. Okay, just making sure. Since you're going to be talking about Pyro. Here we go. So, your level 1s. They're obviously going to be using stock. They won't have anything else but stock. They'll be using Fire Axe. They'll be using stock uh, Pyro thing, which is not a bad thing, you know. I just, you, you, you reminded me of the fucking Dragon's Fury. Level 2 Pyros, they probably did the contracts, and they got the Dragon's Fury. Why the fuck are they using the Dragon's Fury? Please stop using the Dragon's Fury. Please, for the love of God, level 2, 3s, and 4, stop using the fucking Dragon's Fury. Just because you get it from a contract doesn't mean it's the best Pyro in primary. Like, come on, man. Please, please stop, please. I, I see it all the time, and I just, I can't. Like, I just hit my air blast once, right? Boom. That's like what? Just, I, I can't with this thing. I really, I really can't. <sighs> I, I hurt myself on the inside playing with the fucking Dragon's Fury. And then, of course, uh, on, as soon as you get... Lewis, hold on. Alright. What's up? So... Level... Level... Level 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. Just... <sighs> the Flog Instigator. That's all I gotta say. There is a near 100% chance they're running Backburner or Flog. If they run flog, they probably run. I, I don't even know. Just at that point, they're a flog pyro, and flog pyros are flog pyros. There's a stigma around it, I know, and and they are the bane of our existence. Bane of our existence, man. Bro, where the f okay? I'm I ulting as flog pyro. I see. Damn. I see. Damn, I didn't turn around in time and he got me. Uh, yeah, that, that's basically it for Pyro, to be honest. Just flog, level 5 plus. What below about that, the absolute just... combo lords? Oh, God. That, that's an, that's an entirely different story. That's only for your level 7s and above. Who you... ah! Those are going to be your guys who are running fucking base with either Scorch Shot or Reserve Shooter. Or panic attack. Probably, probably, yeah, just those three will be the guys that are doing the combos. Or they might even be running uh, sharpened volcano fragment. <laughs> I, I, I kind of like using that. Uh, home wrecker. That's for your pyros. Uh, I don't have it here, but the weapon that whenever you're wet, you can one shot. Absolute mad lads use that. All right. Further on. Soldier. Boy oh boy, is Soldier a class. <laughs> okay, let, let me try to get through this one quickly. Level 1, 2, and 3 Soldier. You're going to be running at the enemy. You're going to be slow. You're going to blast. You're going to die. That's just, that's just how it's going to be. You're, you probably don't know how to lead your shots to make sure that you're going to make contact. You don't understand that... Uh, with so the neat. the range of your rocket's uh, explosion. In fact, you, because you don't understand that, you're just gonna be like, "Fuck it, direct hit." Not the worst idea in the world. Definitely not the worst idea in the world. How However, get, you how gotta be able to aim. Oh, what the fuck? So, level Sorry. four soldier. That's when you start seeing your disciplinary action. Uh. Maybe Mantreads, you know, probably Gunboats, to be honest, or more probably the Panic Attack, along with Base Rocket Launcher, so I'll switch to my Strange. 
by the way, just in case you guys didn't know, uh, this weapon actually has the longest range in the game. It has such a long range that you can hit the people behind you. <laughs> yeah. So, if you want... The, basically, the best melee you can have for Soldier, if you're not doing Trolger, disciplinary action. Just, it's absolutely worth it. Uh, in addition, you know, as soon as you hit level 4, you're probably doing some rocket jumping. Uh, level 5, 6, 7. You're probably doing rollouts. Definitely doing some rollouts at 5, 6, and 7. You think they're cool. You know, you probably, uh, watched an Uncle Dane rollout. With a fucking rocket jumper. Level 8 soldier. The Bane... Of sentryness. Level 8 soldier. This is the soldier who's gonna switch to Cal Mangler 5000, go to your NG nest, boom, hit you with the uh, right click on it, and it sets all your shit off. And then he proceeds to reload his weapon and fuck up your shit. There's just, it, you, you fucked at that point. And then what he's going to do is he's going to switch right back on to probably Black Boxer. Uh, I, I personally like the Liberty Launcher. Liberty Launcher even. And they're, they're going to destroy your team. Because that's just how it goes. Level 9 Soldier. How do I say this? If you're midair and there's a level nine soldier on your, on your on your server and they're not on your team, I must pray for you because they are the bane of all society. They will hit you midair. They will make sure the snipers can't do anything to them, and you you basically won't have a good time. Let's put it as that. Your level eight, your level nine soldiers are just Jesus. A little bit less common, you know, than other ones. But, no. Still a decent level 9. Now, final class on the list, Scout. You sure you don't have anything to say for this one? Uh, except for the higher level, like mid-tier Scouts, they are the most toxic fucks on the planet. And well, yes, but... that's a stereotype, and yes, I'm sticking by that stereotype. <laughs> Imagine, right? First class you play, Scout. Classic, classic shooter guy. Classic shooter guy. You're destroying the entire enemy team. But you're not doing anything for your team. You're not trying to push the cart with them. You're not trying to defend the cart. And you're definitely not pushing NG Nest. You're a Scout. Like, fuck that. Uh... What you could do is get Bonk Atomic Punch, you know, and use that to uh, lure the sentries while you attack. What are you talking about? This is level one. You know, you're, we're right, we're right, you're right. Well, I'm at 25 health. Level ones, they can be decent, they can be decent. Uh, huh? the, the, it goes level one, level two, level three, level six. So, one through three, you know, is just going to be your scattergun user. They're going to hit their shots sometimes. They're, sometimes they won't. They're going to be trying their best. They don't have no idea what a triple jump is. They have no idea that this pistol is, like, one of the best weapons in the game. And they uh, probably have never gotten a kill with their bat before. Which is understandable, but they have not got, never gotten a kill with their bat before. Now, level six... Scout. What can I say? It, it, they're probably still using the scatter gun. They're probably using Mad Milk, and they probably use something like the Fan of War. Personally, at this level, I, I'd probably just... I, I don't even know. It's just... Jesus. I'm not at that level. I hope I'm never at that level, because at that level, you're the most toxic man in the world. Don't you agree? Classic line scout. I just, I can't deal with level six scouts, bro. Like they're just, they're they're decent and all, but 
They think they are. Deep They're just shit. so fucking toxic, bro. Oh, that's you. Wait, and after level six is level nine. And yes, I know I'm skipping, but that's just how scout works. Per like, that's just how scout is. Level nine scouts are going to run scatter gun. Or they're going to be running uh, Soda Popper. They're probably running Mad Milk or Criticola or Bonk. Maybe even Flying Guillotine. And Sandman or Bat. Maybe the Atomizer if they want the triple jump. The damage potential for this weapon right here. It's godlike. What, you talking about the soda popper? Yeah. Get destroyed, Damn. Lewis. <laughs> Alright, I'm a little tired now. After uh, I've recorded all parts in a row, you know, I'm actually gonna upload it like. Part Maybe, one today, yeah. part two tomorrow, part three the day after. Right. But uh, yeah, that was the various parts of the TF2 class system uh, and their levels. That totally was in depth, right? I'm totally a good scout, right? I'm totally the best player in the world, right? As <laughs> you get killed by my mini sentry. Yeah. <laughs> but uh this is all around gaming signing off uh subscribe if you want to see some more tf2 content you know leave no, a comment no, you got it you got to do this uh youtuber voice and make sure to hit the subscribe and button. make sure to hit that subscribe like button, button and make sure you like and hit that little bell you gotta hit the fucking bell hit like, the bell <laughs> holy I'm, I'm i'm out of breath yeah. And make sure it's full um all notifications. Oh, oh my yeah, god, I game. just Bye. yeah. But okay, okay. <laughs> just subscribe, leave me a comment of what you want to see me do. I'll play TF2, I'll play Minecraft, you know, just I'm bored sometimes, you know. I wanna I wanna share what I do with the, the world, you know. I actually made myself lightheaded saying that. And uh if you wanna give me some flug instigators for free, I mean I'll I'll take a thousand flug instigators. <laughs> alright, alright, for real this time. All Around Gaming, signing off.